In this section, we will be looking at the green slice, graphing a line given its equation in slope-intercept form. So as we take a look at our problem here, we can see that we have the equation y equals 4x minus 3. Now if we quickly go back and review our notes, we'll remember that the magic equation y equals mx plus b tells us that the number that is with the x is our slope and the number over here by itself the constant is the y-intercept. So as we look here we can see that we have a slope of 4, a y-intercept of negative 3. Grab your pencil, plot the y-intercept first. Simply go down here and click a dot at negative 3. Now the slope, the slope is 4. Now as we take a quick look at our notes once again, remember here that a whole number for the slope can always be written as a fraction over 1. So if our slope here is 4, that means that we can consider that to be a fraction positive 4 over 1. The rise is positive slow, positive 4, so the line runs uphill, and the run is 1 to the right. So we'll simply go to the point that we plotted first, the y-intercept point. We will count straight up 4 units, and we will count 1 to the right. Let's go ahead and do that. From our y-intercept point, here at negative 3, we will count up 4. 1, 2, 3, 4 and over 1. Grab our line tool, click our two points, and there's our line. Let's do another one of those. Now here we have the situation y equals negative 1 half x plus 2. Again, our y-intercept is 2. So grab your pencil, plot that y-intercept point as a positive 2, that's 2 squares above the origin on the y-axis, and then notice that we have a slope which is negative. Now some people think that that's bad if you have a negative slope or a negative fraction, but in fact that's a good thing because as we go back and look at our notes we'll simply remember that if you have a negative slope that negative goes with the top number. That's going to tell us that the rise is negative, that we're going to go down first from our y-intercept and then we're going to go over to the right. So let's go back take a look at our equation once again. We see that we have a negative one-half which means we're going to go down one and right two from our y-intercept point that we plotted previously. So put your pencil on the dot. Let us count down one and right two. 2, make a second dot, grab your line tool, go back and re-click those, and we should be good to go.